Let's begin by unboxing the scanner. When unboxing the scanner, lay the box on its side as shown. Remove the USB cable and the top black packing insert and lift the scanner out of the tray by the bag and remove the inkjet cartridge. Confirm that all the contents are present. CX30 scanner, power supply and cord, USB cable, printer cartridge for the endorser versions only, warranty card, and the easy install guide. Before getting started, scanners with the rear inkjet option will require that the inkjet cartridge be loaded. Gently pull out the tabs on the top cover of the scanner. Lift on the cover for access to the inkjet platform and carefully insert the cartridge at a slight downward angle and snap into place. Now let's get started setting up your new scanner. First, before plugging in the scanner, take a minute to follow your bank's instructions on downloading the remote deposit software and the drivers for the scanner onto your PC. It should be an easy process. Your bank's application instructions should also indicate when to plug in the scanner. Next, plug in the power cord and the USB cable into the bottom of the scanner and route the cables out through the channels in the direction that will work best for your desk. Before plugging the scanner into your computer, make sure that you have followed all the steps to install the bank's remote deposit application and all the necessary drivers. Then, plug the power cord into the wall or power strip. When that has been accomplished, plug in the USB cable to your PC. Once Windows has recognized the scanner, launch your bank's remote deposit application and you are ready to begin scanning. The light on the scanner will change from red to green when the scanner has been recognized and is ready for scanning. 